Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a second attempt recording this because as I started, my phone went off. So, great. All I did was cancel this and um, now we need to find glass. So, yeah, because we we're going to be working on that alien containment tank. So we're going to need to find some quartz and get us some Oh I'm faster than you So Oh, not anymore So we're going to need some quartz. Oh, metal salvage. I need that too. Um, quartz is like the biggie. We need a lot of quartz. And it's not super duper easy to get my hands on. Especially due to the fact that we got some baddies in here. Hopefully we don't run into any of those uh, explosive boys that like to blow up everywhere. That'd be nice if we can keep things relatively calm and collect. But of course, that's never what I get. So uh, that is a little bit of quartz, but I don't think that's enough for five glass. So, oh, great, ticked again. Well, I did give it the scan room upgrade, so maybe it'll expand its search and find some more that's not back in that little hole there. In the meantime, Let's compact our inventory and convert that metal salvage into a titanium for us to use. And yep, okay, Audacity is recording. I have that, I gotta get over that phobia and just have like a check system in place. Cause that is like a really dangerous phobia to have. But then again, if I get over it, then what if it does happen? Ugh, paranoia, I tell ya. Okay, we need more uh, quartz. Which is really not... Like, it's common, but I don't pick it up enough. Alright, so that's gonna make me some coffee. And we're going to throw that empty battery into here. Come on. Ah, that's like the greatest thing I think I've discovered so far. You know, forget the big submarine that allows me to go as deep as I want. Forget, you know, the propulsion gun. Forget any of that. The coffee dispenser that gives you free water is where it's at. Because if there's a way to get something for free, as menial and repetitive as it may be, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it enough times to the point where it has to be patched. <laughs> oh, it probably costs a lot of power and I'm just not aware of it. So I'm probably just like killing the Cyclops' power fragments. <laughs> hoping for a couple ounces of water when the potatoes technically actually provide more. I hate this area so much. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. For those of you who have seen previous episodes and what I tend to do with the repulsion cannon, you know exactly what's about to happen.
And I assure you, it's gonna happen. I can get into this little quartz deposit that's in the middle of the mountain here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go find one of these little suckers and uh, have some fun. Oh, that one's gone. Uh oh. I, uh, I can't grab him. That's not fire at all. I wanted to grab him and slam him against the wall. Because I'm a sociopath and I've got problems. I need to learn how to do a Danny DeVito impression and do a Danny DeVito ASMR. You gotta drink the warm beer and then eat the cat food. That way you, you fall asleep before the cats start meowing. Ah, uh, relaxation at its finest. I'm gonna go in the ring and I'm gonna throw trash everywhere. Call me the trash man. You know, in my head, that probably sounds like a really good impression, but like to you guys, it's like, what is he doing? <laughs> I'm scared. Stop it. All right. Okay, so it appears that my method of abuse is not going to work, and I have to put it in a multi-purpose room. So. Gosh darn it, first off. All right, let's uh, let's get a corridor here. Nope. Um, right. Yeah, we can't do a glass one yet. We gotta. Ooh, let's do a X compartment so that way we have room to expand. All right, and then multi-purpose room. Wow, look at that. So great. And we need lithium, because there's no way that's going to last forever. So let's go get some lithium. And, um... Reinforce the hole. Oh, I should probably get more glass, so that I can build solar panels and put them all on top of it. Or maybe build... Nah, a bioreactor is too much work to maintain. Although this would be really high, really handy to have. I need aerogel for that though. Um. Let's see. Okay, well, I'm looking for lithium, for starters. I don't know why I'm, like, so en entranced by whatever I was doing. <sighs> I'm gonna need to give the, the Seamoth more storage modules. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? Oh, it just takes quartz. Perfect. Wow, this is a really, really big, um, containment unit. Ooh, I like that little comment she just added there. Okay, I've actually never used this before, so this is kind of exciting for me. Okay, but how do I add stuff to it?
Is there a way to open its inventory axis here? Is there a cap underneath it or something like that? How do I get into it? Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at it from the outside. Nope, nothing. Okay, so we're gonna convert the last bit of corpse, uh, corpse, quartz into glass. But I need more quartz because I want to have that made entirely mostly of glass. And we also need to add the whole reinforcement somewhere in the building. Doesn't matter where because the game doesn't really care as long as it's reinforced at one point for some reason. So I could literally add multi-purpose rooms that are like not made for like viewing and then just fill them up with the uh, the whole reinforcement call it good. I think, all right? I never really actually did the base building in depth. So I'm probably the last person to give out advice on building bases. <sighs> All right, there we go. We had some more quartz and Oh, they think they have won. They think all is well, but I can't say that because it's profanity. Watch your profanity. So for those of you who don't have a running YouTube channel, you have this creator dashboard thing that YouTube is currently working on, and there's this news feed. The, uh, the creators, the inside, the creators inside or something like that. And they recently had this huge, like, kind of thing come out. And it was, like, talking about profanity. And they're like, oh, heckin' dang it. I just got demonetized for using the heckin' profanity. Oh, bummer. And they're, like, using all the kitty words. You know, I use, you know, heck and stuff like that too, but it's like ironic. They're like using it, you know, in actuality. Because going like heck and heck, we're in heck, you know. That's just high tier sarcasm and quality content. But going like, um, gosh darn it, heck and this, this, and that. It's like, I cringe. As if, I mean, you know, I'm cringy too. So, so I can't really talk about it, but at the same time, it's like, you know, uh, step one is admitting you have a problem, at least according to my therapist, which may or may not exist. <sighs> um Okay, we need more titanium now. Which is kind of surprising all things considered. Oh, I can't start another building while I want to progress. Well, you know what this means. To the scanner room.
perfect. Now we're playing with portals. That was a portal reference. In case you didn't know from what I just said. So, I remember, um, way back in seventh grade, uh, one of my quote-unquote friends wanted to do YouTube, and, um, oh boy, this is a different friend, this isn't the one that got mad at me, I don't know if I told that story or not, oh boy, I have a lot of stories to tell, anyways, um, I met this kid in chess club, in chess advisory, and we started talking about, um, kind of stuff, and he was talking about, I wanted to do YouTube and whatnot, and, uh, for some reason, he started growing this really weird, I just deconstructed that, kind of like, ego at 13 subscribers like this really kind of like braggy ego thing made him a really unlikable person and how do I get into this How do I, like, access the alien? Do I have to, like, a hatch to it? Like, what? What am I missing? Where's my phone? I'm just gonna Google this because I'm a stubborn, stubborn person who doesn't want to just spend my life just wondering stuff. Uh. So, anyways, he started growing, like, this weird, like, authority complex, seeing himself as some sort of, like, YouTube commentator on the likes of, okay, we gotta go back here and think of who was popular at the time, uh, Tabuscus. He saw himself as being, like, on the, the same league as, like, Tabuscus with, like, how his humor was. And I remember, um, I'm reading the Wikipedia page on Alien Containment. <sighs> Oh, I was right about the hatch. Cool. Okay, so the hatch was totally 100% correct. Cool. Okay. Alright, let's hope that works. Um, in the meantime, let's look at what it takes to build some solar panels and build more of those in hopes that it lasts longer. Actually, no, you know what? Um, let's do a bioreactor and then build a... Hmm, let's see. Maybe a bioreactor? No, let's just do more solar panels. I don't think the problem is running out of power. I just think that we're just not generating enough of it. So, it's only... Okay, yeah, that's actually really affordable. Um, there's also a lot of metal salvage nearby, which makes me happy. Alright, let's ping it for limestone chunks. And wait for those to grow. I'm gonna start collecting more creeper, uh, not creeper, creature eggs now. In hopes of getting some fun stuff. Maybe I'll. Gosh darn it. Maybe I'll get like a warper in there or something like that. Cause that'd be really cool. To have a warper in there. It's like the whole thing where it may be studying you, like, makes me think you can get a warper in there. And that'd be so cool. But so creepy too, but so cool, but so creepy. Ah, I'm like excited about this again because there's actually something I can do that isn't just like trying to speed run the gap. I'm actually excited. 
It's not very often where I get this excited. Oh. <sighs> 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 God, that thing's laugh just creeps me out. Okay, how much copper did I get from that? Okay, not a lot, but some. Enough to justify some more solar panels. Peaceful up here, I like it. What I run out of? Quartz? <sighs> it's really peaceful up here, I like it. I have to come up here more often. Let's see if we can make a way to actually guarantee that we can come up here more often. Let's add... Ugh, I want to add another multi-purpose room. We, like stack them on top of each other like that. So that way I can have like an above ground kind of thing. Well, or I guess above sea level kind of thing. We'll do that in a bit. Oh, oh, we're getting some growth. That's not a hatch. Okay, let's cancel that search because we got way too many results going up right now. Ooh. Got some growth in there. It's not fast enough. I need more growth. Okay. Cool. It's growing. <sighs> I'll have to hit it with a knife a couple times so that way I can make sure that I can grow more of them. Oh, I know. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Um. Come here. There we go. So I purposefully haven't scanned myself yet because I know what happens when I do. So I'm kind of like. Let's get some uh, other stuff from their biome up here. Like this. And... Um, like that. And... Wow. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. And yeah, that'll do. And I need more water. Ugh. I'll probably just end up using the coffee maker. Uh, do 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 do. 
do 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to definitely need some water here in a second. And food, so I may as well go here and pluck some potatoes up. Well, I got to plant the blue palm seeds here. Got to go back and do that. All right, we're going to go back and plant the blue palm seed, the blue palm tree. Perfect. You know, I wonder how what he gets in and out of there without making a complete mess of just everything. Oh, perfect. Mass production time. Okay, that was just what I wanted. Now I can actually mass produce some stuff. Cool. It's just what I needed. Look at it, oh my gosh. This is such a cool concept. Why did I never do this? I was too busy trying to like find the resources. I never thought just to grow them. I'm becoming a farmer now. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Okay, no, there actually is something you can do to stop me. And that's taking away my titanium. But that's why I've got a scanner room. I wonder if I put another thing I don't know I'll probably end up putting like a bioreactor or something like that down there and that requires a wiring kit requires because I'll put I can put planters down and grow um grow some stuff and get some stuff yeah Maybe not, I don't know. What I do know is I need more metal. Like a lot more metal. I don't just need like a little bit of metal, I need like buckets of metal. All right, that's 16, but I want more. Ah, they're thriving in there. Shut up. Okay. Should probably listen to that. I'm gonna go convert a bleach bottle into um, water here. Because I got plenty of bleach. I should probably switch out my batteries and whatnot. All right, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go pick up all these full batteries and then just start switching some stuff out. Okay. I'm just gonna put those in there. Let's take a peek at the power cells and see if any of them need immediate change. Um, 
it does not. Oh, that's at 22, but it'll be fine. We're going to wait until we start seeing some zeros. Yeah, because we're at 77% power. That's plenty. <sighs> I might just start charging them in mass, though. So... <sighs> might get one of the uh, the thermal um, rechargers and then put a power cell recharger in the Cyclops that way I can have a surplus of them. And it looks like that we got some stuff growing pretty nicely in here. So, sweet. I might need to pull the blue palm out because that's taking up a lot of space. So, or I'll probably actually end up pulling the uh, acid mushrooms out. So, that may have been a little too much. So. Let's see, those gel sacks will be done. In about three minutes from now. Cool. So now the problem is getting rubies. So. Um, let's see. There's not really a good way to, like, connect these. I guess if I do this... I don't have any titanium. Ugh, oh, gosh darn it. Alright, let's... Come on. Convert all this. I can't believe I spent an actual playthrough actually searching for my resources like a peasant. <sighs> oh, that actually got constructed, apparently. Okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, I want to... How do I add a ladder? Does it have to be in the multi-purpose room for it to, like, work? It'd be cool if I didn't have to have a multi-purpose room for it to work. Let's find out. It appears somewhat so, but I think there has to be two floors before I can even add a ladder. So let's put a T, no not a T, let's put an X compartment below this one. And then we're gonna try adding a ladder now. Oh, there we go. Can I walk over that? Perfect. Alright, cool. Whoa. Alright. And I can actually add, like, we're gonna do a bioreactor. So we're gonna need silver and we're probably actually gonna do the bioreactor over there. So we're gonna need silver. So we have some on the... Uh, oh, let's check our stuff to see if anything has grown. Cool. So we're gonna pick you, and we're gonna pick you, and then we're gonna cut you. Okay, so that's a pretty, uh, pretty nifty thing there. Um, let's pick all the acid mushrooms. We're gonna cut that and cut that, and we're gonna pick those. And now we're gonna shove all the deep street, the the deep seas, the deep shroom spores. I don't know what happened to my brain there, but I just kind of decided to stop working into there. Perfect. And 
and let's see what kind of fun stuff we can make. Okay, oh, we need rubies for aerogel. Hydrochloric acid. Cool. That's good to know. All right, cool. So we basically have a lot of this stuff unlocked there with that. But now we need rubies. So, um... I think the whole ruby thing is going to be a little bit of a pain to do. So, what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to find a way to smuggle the... Alright, the resources for the stuff kind of around and whatnot. Ah, sorry, I totally just spaced out there. I need to find a way to, to collect all the resources for a scanner room again. So, that's going to take a little bit of work. But, um, it'll make the ruby hunting a lot easier, I think. But, at least we know where to look. Oh, silver. And see if we have any lubricant. If not, we'll just go to the uh, kelp forests and peek there. Is there anything I can make with aerogel right now? Let's find out. <sighs> um, I can make the Mark II pretty quickly, actually. But not the Mark III. Actually, I think I already have the Mark II. Um, what does the prawn suit need again? Where's the prawn suit blueprint at? There it is. Okay, so really the hardest resource to get our hands on there is the aerogel. So we need two more rubies. And then we can have a prawn suit. And then we're gonna need um, an advanced wiring kit and titanium. And diamonds and titanium and lithium. So no matter what, we're gonna need more lithium basically. And more rubies. But in the meantime, let's get some lubricant and get our base good to go. So, let's just kind of pluck some of these seeds. And now let's head back. And turn off the uh, metal salvage alert. I don't really think we need that anymore. Uh, maybe I should just disassemble this scanner room here and bring it with me. That'd probably be a lot easier, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. I also have the materials to make another bioreactor. Maybe it's with my, within my best interest to just take it with me instead. Okay. So the bioreactor is really more of a emergency kind of thing. If we're low on power, we can just throw stuff into it and call it good. And that also just dramatically increase the power storage. So the solar panels can work over time and hopefully collect enough resources over the day to be good to go. So, yeah. 
And let's check our growth in here. See what we got. Almost there. The blue palm is... Needs to go. <sighs> Actually, the blue palm needs to stay. Because we can totally kick the entire system into overhaul by just growing a blue palm. Is it going to go right there? Is that where it's going to grow? It's right there. Is that it? Is that it? And the seed settling? Yes, it is. There it goes, slowly growing. <gasps> They're reproducing. Oh, that's fantastic. That means I can have more bioreactor fuel than originally planned. Wow, these little glowing deep sea shrooms are kind of spooky with how much they're producing. Like, seriously. These will all be ready to harvest pretty soon. Okay. I want you gone. Alright. And I think for these gel sacks, I'm actually going to harvest all of them into seeds. We're going to put a locker in here uh, to store the seeds. So this way we can keep a steady supply going. But we need more titanium. Of course we need more titanium. When do we not need more titanium? I don't know why I didn't just turn the scanner room on and call it good and why I'm searching for it manually. Maybe it's out of habit or maybe it's just kind of like... I'm too lazy to actually search for my own. Or like, you know, to turn the scanner room on so instead I just... Wow, that camera's really making some distance. It's going for distance. It's going for speed. It's all alone, all alone, all alone, and it's time I need. Whoa, seizure time much? There we go. That's a pretty good picture. Click. All right. Let's go make ourselves a locker. And that'll be the end of this episode. Is us placing a locker for all of our seeds. Oh, and also collecting the, uh, the stuff. So. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we're gonna just shove all those back in there and then start putting more stuff in here. There we go. Very cool. Very cool. <sighs> but it's eating to those blue palm seeds pretty quickly. So, interesting. Alright, well, up next, we're going to try to get ourselves the prawn suit. And I think I am going to disassemble this scanner room here next episode as well, and take it with me so we can just quickly find it. So, yeah. Prawn suit net pretty, it's coming up pretty soon. And thanks to this system and operation here, that is possible. Because now we can mass produce aerogel and other stuff. So, nice. Well, 
Thank you all for watching this episode of the Subnautica playthrough. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have not, please subscribe. Please, please do. Please. I upload daily, alright? You, you, you got guaranteed ASMR every day, basically. There's some stuff to watch every day. Guaranteed. So come on. Give me a subscription there. I could, uh, could really use it. And plus, I got something special for all you planned. Very special. Very, very special. Very special. Two things that are very special planned. So, if that doesn't make you subscribe, then uh, you're missing out, buddy. Buddy. Buddy! Subscribe! No way. Anyways, um, minus that minor, um, request. I would uh, kindly advise to take that request, slash advice, and um, I'll see you all uh, next episode. So, have a...